Number 11. Write a brief description or a definition of each of the following. And then we have the lovely alpha particle. So just know that this kind of fish little symbol, right? Kind of kind of looks like a fish right here is like the little wings or not wings, right? Fins or whatever you want to call it, right? That's pronounced alpha. In the Greek alphabet, alpha, this letter is the first letter of the alphabet. So that's just why it's called an alpha particle. First, first letter, A, A particle, alpha particle. But now what is an alpha particle? Well, we're talking about nuclear chemistry. So we're talking about either elements or atoms or particles that have pretty much that they're not stable, right? They, they're undergoing some type of nuclear reaction. So an alpha particle, since it's on the end of, you know, nuclear chemistry, these are stuff that have high amounts of energy. So an alpha particle is a particle that has high or a lot amounts of energy. But also, it is a specific particle, right? Now, every time that there's an alpha particle, it's always, the particle is always going to be a helium. So it's a high energy. So we could even say it's a high energy helium. And we can say that it's a nucleide. Now, if you want to say helium atom, that's fine with me as well. And just know that if you are talking about an alpha particle, you can always say that it's just the helium. Now, helium is H-E. And remember, when you're writing your nucleide notation, which is basically what we're going to be doing here, there's three things that you really have to worry about. Is the element or the particle, in this case, alpha is always helium. And then you need a number on the top and you need a number on the bottom. The top number is always going to be your atomic mass. The bottom number is always going to be your atomic number. And remember that the atomic number for any element, helium is no exception, is always going to be unique for that specific atom. And if we look on the periodic table, helium has a atomic number always of two. So for an alpha particle, which is just an high energy helium nucleide, the, the bottom number is always gonna be a two. And if you're classifying it as an alpha particle, the top number, the mass is always a four. So if you did want to find out the number of neutrons, you have two protons, the whole nucleus is four. So four minus two, the leftover is the, nu the neutrons. So you have two neutrons. You got two protons and two neutrons, which make up the total atomic mass of four. And that's basically what this alpha particle is. Anytime that you're talking about a, a, um, an alpha particle, you're always talking about a helium atom with an atomic number of two and a mass of four. The mass cannot be five or six or three. It is specific for a number four. And that's what that is. So sometimes um, you'll see that some particles are just elements. And an alpha particle is one of them. It's just a helium. Four on the top, two on the bottom. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. We also have memberships on the channel if you guys are interested in helping out the channel a little bit more. Um, and with that, we get to produce more videos and we get more stuff out to you guys. So it's a win-win. So yeah, I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.